The 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo made its world debut at the Detroit Auto Show and in the process put its competitors, the Volkswagen GTI, Honda Civic Si, and Mini Cooper S on notice. Hello and welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. So glad you're watching. I gotta tell you, I've had a lot of fun driving the Veloster this week. In fact, I've been volunteering to go on errands just so I can take it out for a spin. And a lot of that has to do with the engine and performance. Under the hood, the Veloster boasts a 1.6 liter turbocharged GDI four-cylinder engine made it to a six-speed transmission that produces 201 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. In short, it's fun to zip around corners. Now, when driven economically, the Veloster Turbo can get 24 miles per gallon in the city and up to 34 on the highway in the manual transmission, which I have right here, and 24 miles per gallon in the city and 31 on the highway in the automatic transmission. I've been getting in the mid to upper 20s in mixed driving. This particular engine features a twin scroll turbocharger which when combined with the GDI system results in instantaneous power delivery. The twin scroll turbocharger design has several advantages over traditional single scroll turbocharging systems including improved combustion efficiency, low engine speed efficiency, cooler cylinder temperatures and lower exhaust temperatures to name a few. At just 2,800 pounds, the Veloster is 77 pounds lighter than the Honda Civic Si Coupe and 234 pounds lighter than the Volkswagen GTI. This priority on weight efficiency allows the Veloster Turbo to deliver a great combination of agility, performance, and fuel efficiency. Working in harmony with its aggressive appearance is a finely tuned suspension setup. Only key components in the steering were upgraded for the Turbo. It features a quicker ratio steering rack and a revised steering calibration to match, which both give drivers precise cornering, feedback, and control. And while I'd rate the ride comfort satisfactory, I did experience a fair amount of road noise on the highway. All Velocers feature electric power steering, and its turning diameter of 34.1 feet is a full foot better than the Mini. Exterior styling is most certainly eye-catching, especially compared to the non-turbo option from a bigger, bolder hexagonal front grille, sculpted side skirts, and a new dynamic rear bumper with prominent diffuser vents in the lower fascia. Standard are 18-inch alloy wheels, fog lights, and side mirrors with turn signal indicators. I think it's safe to say that the turbo's design adds a certain level of aggression and aerodynamic stability compared to the base model. One more thing, there are technically four doors in the Veloster, or as some say, three plus one. The driver and passenger doors, the opening to the trunk, and a unique third door for easy rear seat access. While access is very easy to get in the back seats, headroom leaves much to be desired. You actually have to lean back a little bit more where the glass is to find some more space, but even so, I'm 5'11", and there is almost no headroom for me. Legroom is just fine, but headroom, big issue. In addition to some of the standard features on the inside, such as a leather-wrapped steering wheel with mounted audio controls, a leather-wrapped shift knob, heated front seats, 7-inch multimedia touchscreen, you'll find full leather seats with the word turbo stitched into the seat backs, leaving no doubt what the driver and passenger are about to experience. The dash is also textured, which I really like. I found the electro-luminescent gauge cluster and trip counter clear and easy to understand, with the two most appropriate dials, the tachometer and speedometer, most prominent. The center stack and controls resemble that of a sport bike fuel tank and incorporate a push-button starter and alloy pedals. All Velocitors feature six airbags and a state-of-the-art braking package, which makes sense on a car with this much power. 
The MSRP in the 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo is $21,950 for the manual transmission. My tester here also includes the ultimate package for another $2,500, which includes the panoramic sunroof, backup warning system, automatic headlights, and navigation system with rear view camera. So in the end, you're looking at $25,520. Whether or not the extra five grand for the turbo version of the Veloster is worth the extra power and luxury over the non-turbo version is really up to you. If it was my money, I'd opt for the turbo. It's worth a look and a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson for Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching.